Ridiculous Ripley here bringing you another LSPDFR tutorial. You're here because you want a Glock or an AR-15 inside of your game. I mean, those original pistols are just boring. They don't look as cool. So today I'm going to show you how to put the Glock and the AR-15 into your LSPDFR for more realistic gameplay. If you're new here, go and click that like button. Subscribe. Turn on that notification bell. Show me the love. You guys have shown me so much love these past few weeks to a month, and it's amazing. And I appreciate it. We've reached 100 subscribers, and I just I can't stop. I got to keep going. So, without further ado, let's jump right into it and get you this as quick as possible. Okay, so I got three links down below. One of them is going to be the gun sound overhaul, which is going to make your gun sound a lot better. Um, I have the Bushmaster AR-15 carbine rifle. And then we also have the Max Payne Glock, fully animated, all that good stuff, all right? So once you uh, go ahead and get those downloaded, they're, both, they're all of them on GTA 5 mods. I've already got them downloaded to save time, right here on my desktop. Today we're going to be working in Open IV. okay? So once you get Open IV pulled up, go ahead and click Edit Mode to make sure you're in Edit Mode. So once you're in your, you're going to Mods, Time 64, Audio, SFX, and then you should have the Resident and the Weapons Player. If not, don't worry. Come back to your main page here. Do not go into Mods. Go straight to Time 64, Audio, SFX, and then you'll have your whole list. You're going to want to search for your WeaponsPlayer.rpf. In your resident.rpf and once you double click on it it'll ask if you want to show in mods folder click yes because you only want to make changes to your mods folder so once you're there it'll automatically copy it to your mods folder you should see something like this okay so we're in our resident.rpf we want to open up the resident.rpf folder you'll see that weapons.awc down here second from the bottom you'll see that weapons.awc okay all you're going to want to simply do is make sure your edit mode's on. You're going to drag it, and you're going to drop it. You're not, you're not going to see a change to the file itself, but you'll see a little loading screen for a second, which is how you know it works. Okay, so that's how simple that is. We're going to go back, and you see we have another folder here. That says to weapons player folder. We're going to go back to our SFX, find that weapons player, and if you don't have it, go back to where I showed you GTA 5. Time 64 audio SFX and then copy into your mod folder. And go straight in here. And if you're worried about not liking the sound of these guns, you can go ahead and export all these to a file of your choice. Mine, I have an original files just in case I don't like them. I can simply highlight all of these, drag them. Oops, sorry guys. Drag them into here and drop them. That way, if I get in game, I'm like, ooh, I don't like that sound, or I can go back to my original files and I can just drop them right back in. So, once you go into your weapons player folder in your WinRAR, it's going to do the same thing. You're going to copy all these, you're going to drag and drop. Now, I didn't see much of a change. Now, you probably won't either, but I just want to double make sure I did it right. We're going to drag it, we're going to drop it. Okay, so it worked. We'll be good to go. We're done with that folder. We can go back to our main page here. And now we're going to install the Glock and the AR-15. Now the Glock they made simple easy. Super easy and simple. Um, they made it into an OIV file. So you just have to drag and drop it to your desktop. You can exit out of that. And now that it's on your desktop, you're going to come down here to these blue, red, and green dots. You're going to click it once. It's going to open up a uh, a file for you. You're going to look for the Glock one. Double click it. And it's going to ask you if you want to install the Max Payne 3 Glock. You're going to click install into your mods folder and install again. It's going to take a few seconds. Not a big deal. Once you're done with that, it's going to say installation succeeded. Click close. And you're done with the Glock. You can delete it. 
or move it to your folder, however you want to do it. Next is the Bushmaster, guys. Okay. Bushmaster is probably one of my favorites. And it's real simple. See, it's only two files, and it's got a readme if you want to follow the readme instead. But for the installation path here, we're going to go to our mods folder. Go to update, time 64, DLC packs. And if you're in the readme, it's going to say to install it to patch day 3. We're not going to do that. We're going to install it to patch day 8. I just found it works better. A lot of people found that it's worked better. So we're just going to patch day 8. We're going to go to DLC, time 64, models, CD images, and then our weapon.rpf. And as you can see here, this is all of the carbine, all of the guns in the game. Now you'll see in other videos that they search it up just so they can find it. That's not a big deal. You don't have to do that. They're all in here. You just need to highlight these two, drag it, and drop it in. And it's that simple. So now that we're done with that, we can exit out of that. And just like that, we've got two brand new weapons installed plus different sounds. We're going to go to deselect edit mode. Go back to our home page in the open IV. Close out of it. And I'm going to meet you in game to show you that it worked. All right, guys, we are in game. Moment of truth. Here we go. Let's see if it works. There's our pistol. Looks like a Glock to me, guys. Let's try shooting and see what it sounds like. Okay. That ain't bad at all. That is not bad at all. Let's see what the AR looks like, sounds like. Go back here, press G and grab a rifle. See, it's the AR-15. There we go. Let's go and take the scope off real quick. I'll show you guys how to do that, too. I'm not a fan of that tan scope. We come down here to weapons. Um, weapon attachments and tent. This says extended clip, flashlight, suppressor, and scope. I'm just going to press the number five on that, and it'll take take it away. That's how I like mine. So there's the AR-15 guys. Oh, that actually looks pretty good. Let's see what it sounds like. That's pretty sharp. All right, I kind of like that, guys. I think the taser sounds different. Oh, not too much different. All right, well, you guys enjoyed this, um, and you learned something new, or helped you out in any way, go ahead and click that like button for me. Subscribe if you want to see more content. Um, I stream almost every other night. I can't tomorrow night. I got things going on. But I stream on 5M, Silver Lining Roleplay. And then I make videos up here on LSPDFR. Just gameplay some of the uh, mods that I put in for you guys. So if you want to see that, like I said, subscribe, click the notification bell, and you'll be notified every time I upload. Okay, so have a good one.